I was gonna try to go to the store today to get some paint, but uh. It may take a little while. <laughs> oh. The painting gods have actually given me a place to set up my tent so I can spray paint. I can actually get something done today. The sun's out, it's beautiful. I'm so excited. I got this new little compartment for all the little pieces that I'm just not using at the moment. And that way I don't have to use these cookie sheets for storage anymore. But these are all getting glued today. I'm excited. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back to another uh, studio vlog. And uh, let me just get you updated. I'm working on another update for my shop. So for the last couple of days, I've been cleaning the jars very thoroughly. I give them a quadruple bath, really. And then I put them in the microwave to zap anything else because I'm just a huge germaphobe. So they are spotless. I, I can assure you that cleanest little dudes ever. So I wash them and then I spray them. I'm doing one type of dude this time. I'm trying to figure out a way I really want to narrow down the dudes I make like I want to be able to have one type of jar and be specified with that certain dude but I just like my mood changes all the time and like whatever happens happens and I like that I like that each one is like handmade or like obviously handmade but like unique and not planned and just everyone has a one-of-a-kind little dude but I'm kind of trying that um, jar method with this shop update i have two types of jars and three of each and then they're gonna be one listing so then i can keep restocking it as opposed to making a new listing for every single dude that i ever make it just takes so much time and that way i can put more time into making more products if i just have fewer listings i don't know if i'm making sense i don't even know if this is gonna work with what i'm doing <laughs> but first we got snail mail this is from Alina from her shop Cutie Illustrations and you can find her on Instagram as well. She has the cutest, like, like this is just her sticker for her envelope, but it's like, I love her to, I just love her style and the way she uses colors and her shading techniques. It just, it's just really unique. I really like it. And I decided to buy something from her shop to support a fellow Canadian artist. And she's just been so sweet. She's one of the nicest, most approachable, helpful people I've met on the internet. And I don't really ever reach out. She actually reached out to me first when I just kind of started advertising my shop on Instagram. And she's been so nice and so helpful and just, I don't know, she's just really easy to talk to. We were just talking literally all day yesterday over Instagram. And while we were talking, I didn't even realize she like adopted a little dude. So thank you, Alina. That really made my night. I was just went, about to go to bed and I checked my email because for some reason my new phone just doesn't want to tell me I have emails. And then it tells me I had one an Etsy transaction like four hours before. So I was really surprised. I had no idea she didn't even mention it while we were talking. That was really nice of her. So I'm gonna open my mail and I can cover up my address. But look at that, look how cute that is. So much work, girl. I don't wanna rip it. <laughs> no, how do you do this? Oh, can I go for the bottom? I don't want to rip the sticker. I'm going to cut you out later. I would like to keep a little book. I need to go to Michael's and get a, a little book to keep all 
um, Bella Artist stickers in. This is all very new to me, like just reaching, like sharing art, my art. Like I kind of did it on my personal account on Instagram, but I've just, I've never been comfortable with it. I just like, you look at it and you don't talk about it. Like, so it's been, it's obviously taken me a very long time just to get going and like, want to be a part of this whole endeavor of becoming an artist. Oh my gosh, look how cute her packaging. I don't know, do I do like, do I, how do I, is it showing? I love her colors. Oh my gosh, Alina. Oh, it says, she even says it right here in her note. I can't wait to buy a little dude and plant something cute in it. Well, I'm glad that you found one that you liked and I get to ship that off to you tonight. So that's cool. Oh, that's so nice. I'm gonna keep that. I'm really emotional person, so I'm gonna cry at everything. I'm gonna keep, ooh, if I can use that tape again, nice. See, I've never wanted to save wrapping paper. Like if it's wrapped, I'm ripping it because what's the fun of doing it slowly? But it's, I don't know, this seems precious. I feel bad. I'm not doing a very good job of it. I'm sorry. Oh my God. Oh, she snuck a few other things in. Oh, it's dummy proof. Oh, nice. Phew. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> oh it's, her, it's her business card. Look how cute. Oh, see? It's a cutie illustrations. And then it's her handles. Oh, she gave me a bunch. She gave me like a love potion. That's so cute. Mind my nails. I don't paint them. There's no point. They're just going to be ripped off when I work. Oh, I really love this. I really wanted to get, there's one on, there's one of her pigs on the stump and I really love that. I really love her stump pig. <laughs> Ooh, and this is the one that I actually bought. She snuck those ones in. I really like the quality of it and it's shiny. Like, I don't know if you can see like the stars. How did you do that? That is so cool. Oh my gosh, I haven't bought stickers besides for scrapbooking in such a long time. I love scrapbooking. And I never thought, like, I, I never really knew too much about the XD community, but I really like the idea of supporting other uh, small businesses, other artists especially, and just like scrapbook with their stuff, like instead of just going to Michael's, like that's really cool. <laughs> I'm gonna be like super transparent here. I just watched uh, Spirited Away for the first time, like I think it was last summer. I don't know why I never watched it. I was just so, like when it came to anime, when it comes to anime, I'm just really stubborn about like, it has to be Sailor Moon or like the first two seasons, or it has to be Pokemon the first two seasons, or it has to be uh, Card Captors, or it has to be Mew Mew Power. Like those are the only ones that I'll watch because I like the drawing, drawing style. Now I've been branching out and watching the ones I should have watched when I was a kid and and Spirit Away and Kiki's Delivery Service. Uh, like, I am ashamed of myself that I waited this long. They're masterpieces, I love them. But I love this, this is so cute, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> and she got me, and she treated me to these ones too, look how cute. Oh, it's, thank you, that makes me so happy. Oh, I can't wait to use these. I'm gonna have to buy like a really nice book. And I'm gonna have to snip the snail dude out. Thank you, Alina. <laughs> Sorry, my voice, I don't know why. I don't talk anymore because I just don't go out. And so when I do talk, I start losing my voice. Wow, that is awesome. So today I'm gonna be gluing my dudes together. There's only six of them this time. And last shop update, I had like 12 little dudes. The same as there's only six. Like I said, I wanted to try the like specific bottle sizes and make multiples with that one bottle, but we'll see how that even goes. I don't know. I gotta glue my little dudes today. And then I gotta pack Alina's order, her little dude. Or uh, not even little dude, it's the, one of the bigger dudes that I've ever made. So I'm really stoked that he found a home and she named him Bree. 
or her. Like it's a dude or a dudette. It's whatever you want, but brie, like after the cheese. So that's really cool. So I got a glue, I got a pack, I gotta go to the post office. I also gotta edit my other video which will be the very first one I will ever put out for my studio vlogs. It just, uh, I don't know. I just, when it's the first thing of anything, when I'm just starting something new, I don't know, I just get nervous and then I start procrastinating in a sense. My perfectionism kicks in, I guess. And I just, even if I know it's just gonna take, like literally, all I have to do is slap some music on and put a couple of B-rolls. It won't take long at all. But I think just knowing the finish line is near, I'm just like, it's probably not good enough and I'm just not gonna put it out for a while. <laughs> so that's today. Today's gonna be busy. And so I should probably get on it. But before I do, did you notice? I have this new little drawer. It's, it's quite cute. <laughs> It can store all of my little dude parts. Perfect for body parts, as my dad said. I like being organized. And this is a weird angle, so I'm gonna move on. So I am just getting ready to glue my little dudes. Uh, I don't really glue them in my office just because I'd like to be by a window when I'm using this stuff and it's E6000, if you use it, you know it smells awful. You don't want to breathe it and it is so toxic and so bad for you. There's a freaking skull on the... Yeah. So anyway, besides the point, it's dangerous, whatever. Got the window and it's gonna be really, really cold because as you can see, there's lots of snow. So I have my sweater on. I'm ready to go. I have a mask and I'm gonna get a proper respirator or I have a respirator, but I need to get proper filters so I don't get any more headaches. <laughs> and uh, hopefully I can get through all these dudes without sniffing too many fumes and passing out because I have a lot to do today and I can't be sleeping on the job, unconscious. So uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get some glue in, yay. I just finished gluing all the little dudes parts on and not gonna lie, I'm having a moment right now. <laughs> I've learned that with the glossier paints, the glue just doesn't wanna stick. It just will slide, which is crazy because this stuff's supposed to stick to cement, but I guess maybe it's too slick. And I didn't really figure that out until the end, so parts kept sliding off, made a mess. I'm, I'm just having one of those days. Like some days are just learning experiences and this is definitely what this batch is all about. I'm just glad I only did six. <laughs> so it's just just a real small batch this time. I still want to finish them because I usually feel defeated at this stage of my little dudes just because I hate the gluing process. It's just uh, unpredictable and annoying, but um, usually I fall in love with them afterwards and it's usually the one that I think that I just don't like at all that I end up loving the most. So, so from that experience, I know it will be better tomorrow. <laughs> it's just I had a had some time today, and I think I just breathed in way too many paint fumes again. So I'm just feeling dizzy and irritable. So <laughs> we're just gonna call it a day with those guys and move on to packing Alina's order. Okay, so the next day, and today I'm going to the post office. Last night I tried to drive to the Staples really quickly and uh, it, my car decided to crap out on me. So here's hoping I can make it to the post office today to deliver uh, Alina's little dude. And then he can be on his very little way. And then when I get back, I'm going to work on the new batch of little dudes and have a little fun day. Wow. Can I get that, please? So after I dropped off the little dude at the post office, I went into the grocery store to get some groceries, obviously, but also I got a lottery ticket at the, the register or whatever. And the guy asked me for some ID. I'm like, oh, I'm flattered. And I showed him the ID and he's like, oh, you're way older than I am, like by nine years. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh.
it's Monday. Hey, it's a uh, Monday and it's a brand new week. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I didn't really do anything productive this weekend. I did an order, I shipped off an order, um, but that was pretty much it. I didn't really do anything for my shop. I was supposed to do like a couple coats of uh, paint for my little dudes, but I just wasn't, I don't know, I just wasn't in the headspace. And I know if I push myself, then I just make more mistakes and get more frustrated. And I've just learned to accept that those days are what they are. And, you know, it's just, you're allowed to have some bad days and you're allowed to just take a break. And as much as I want this to be a full-time job one day, I understand that taking care of your mental health comes first. So I just kind of accepted my bull days <laughs> and I just lazed around a bit and I basically just rested until I was bored and just wanted to work on something. So sometimes that's what I have to do. I have to just bore myself out. So, <laughs> and then I get more productive because I'm tired of lying around. But today I do need to work on a video for Jordan's company and then later I'll be able to do whatever I want. And I am getting more excited because I did say I was going to do a little shop update on um, this upcoming Saturday so I do better under pressure it like <laughs> like I hate stress and pressure but I do better knowing there's a deadline and it's a shorter window and then I, I just like I can work all day if I have to yeah so that's what today brings and it's gonna be good it's gonna be good sun's out kind of and uh I'm feeling better today I just feel uh I'm just excited. So let's get going.